Well, Joe Biden's words during the State of the Union address, which we watched, say one thing, but the big question here, did his body language say another? Well, I got, we got to see this. We're going to be joined now by body language expert Gregory Hartley to break it down. Uh, Gregory, thanks for joining us here. So I, I want to start by getting your reaction. One moment is, to, is when we're addressing, when Joe Biden is addressing the Supreme Court on Roe v. Wade. Uh, let's, let's take a listen here. Look, it's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following. And with all due respect, justices, women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you get right about that. I mean, he yeah. was bumbling, Gregory. What was your reaction to that? Yeah, so this should, if this mattered, if this were true and not just a political ploy and just more Joe Biden doing what Joe Biden does, you know, the two hands up and going at it, he would be passionate. And you don't stumble over words when you're passionate. He was not passionate. He was reading. It's clear. This is, if I do this whole thing, I say it's unrestrained, rehearsed, and divisive, unrestrained by the truth, rehearsed in that Joe Biden always does the same thing. He's like a roach bug when the lights come on. He moves. He's got two, two ploys to use. And this was, now look. And then he just had a bunch of usual stumbles going through it. So, I mean, this is one example. What did you see when there seemed to be some taunting towards the Republican side of the room, specifically when it came, came to the border, seemingly off script at some points, Greg? Yeah, anytime he goes off script, what we look for with Joe Biden, there are really only two people in there. One of them is where he goes, now look, and he does his televangelist and he's preaching to you. The other is when he does this, now come on, man, and he starts kind of a lilting voice. He started to go at them with the now look, and you see his hands drop. When his hands drop, he's lost concentration. He's not sure what to do. And then if you don't believe that this is all rehearsed, he comes back screaming and yelling about good things, the same way he screamed and yelled about bad things. It's just rehearsed. Just real quick, uh, on the anger issue, that it seems to pop up a lot in his speeches. A quick response there? Yeah, that's all he does. It's just a routine. It's just a, what he does and the way he's wired. He rehearses that way. He raises his voice to a crescendo when it doesn't really matter, and then he drops it down at other times. There's no rationale to it. It's just a, a ploy for him. Mm. I've watched him many times and covered many speeches where he's ranting about good things and ranting about bad things. Just odd. Gregory Hartley joining us, body language expert, again, breaking down what we've seen of the State of the Union address by President Joe Biden. Gregory, thanks so much.